Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, I'm going to answer the question, what is a variable? And this is a perfect uh, question to uh, kind of start off with if you are beginning to learn algebra, because variables is really what distinguishes algebra from arithmetic. Now, if you think you have an idea what a variable is, go ahead and put uh, your definition and use your, uh, you know, your language, right? Feel free to not to make a perfect definition. Just what do you think a variable is? If you feel like you have a basic idea, put that into the comment section, and I'm going to show you uh, what a, a variable is essentially is. You know, we're going to basically be using easy to understand language here. When you're learning algebra for the first time, you know, for me, I don't like to teach math in an overly technical way. You certainly need to understand the technicalities and the all the definitions definitions and terms of mathematics, but if you're just beginning to learn algebra, we want to kind of make this nice and easy for you. Uh, also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to it. So what is a variable? And I'm going to go ahead and just answer it this way, okay? And there's probably uh, other type of vari uh, variations of this, um, you know, the definition. But let's just kind of use easy to understand language. A variable in mathematics and algebra is a symbol, oftentimes a letter, that just represents a number, okay? So in algebra, I'll just kind of write some things out here. If you see like 2x or y squared, or maybe something like z plus 1 uh, squared. Now this, in and of itself, is what we call a variable expression. Uh, but this letter down here, x, would be a variable. Okay, This whole thing right here would be an algebraic term. Now I'm kind of throwing in additional language here, but I want to kind of distinguish uh, between the two. So 2x, this is not a variable, just the x part is a variable, right? So that's a uh, symbol, oftentimes a letter. Uh, of course, we have right here, y squared. Now, uh, with y squared, what is the variable? Okay, the two isn't, just the y, okay? So you're really kind of distinguishing uh, between the symbol. Uh, again, oftentimes it is a lowercase letter, but it doesn't have to be um, that as all. Well. So it's a symbol that represents a number. So let's kind of go down here and uh, uh, take a look at some variables that you've already been working with uh, ever since you were like in second grade, first grade, whatever, whatever that was. I remember way back in good old 1975, maybe when I was like in elementary school. Those were awesome years because I remember riding um, these tricycles. I don't really see them around too much, but we used to go around and around and fall down, get hurt at recess. It was so awesome. Anyways, I don't even think they have that, but that's what I kind of remember from elementary school along with some of these problems. Okay, so these problems would be a box plus two, okay, is equal to five, right? So you'd sit there and you'd be like, all right, hmm, how do I figure this out? You know, you're coming back from recess and now your teacher's got you doing all this stuff. And basically, a teacher's kind of asking you, or the worksheet is like, hey, what number do I have to put in here uh, in order, uh, what you know, what number plus two is going to be equal to five? So you're kind of, you know, trying to figure this out. Now, this is a box, right? And you're like, all right, it's a box. It just represents some number I'm going to plug in here. Now, obviously, the right answer is three. But this box here is a symbol that represents a number. Okay, so you were doing uh, um, algebra way back in the first uh, grade, second grade, or whatnot. You didn't even, uh, realize it, right? So anytime you have some sort of symbol that represents a number, that is a variable, right? Doesn't have to be always be a letter. Could be all sorts of things. Let's take a look at another um, variable. Okay, now this is actually a symbol that represents um, a number. Okay, so what is this symbol right here? Okay. Well, this is uh, what we call pi in mathematics, and it's part of the Greek alphabet. 
and this symbol represents a number. Now, the exact number it represents is something called an irrational number, and basically this number is equal to 3.14, and this number goes on and on and on and on and on to infinity. Now, the digits of pi, and uh, if you haven't heard of pi, you'll definitely hear, uh, hear of it. It is probably one of the most um, you know, widely known uh, values in mathematics. Let's just kind of define it real quick. So here, if I have a circle, okay, here's a circle, and then the width of the circle is called the diameter, okay? Now, if I measure around a circle, that's called the circumference. So any circle, right, could be a small circle, big circle, doesn't make a difference. But if you take the uh, circumference, which is the distance around the circle, any circle again, and you divide it by the width of the circle, which is called the diameter, you're going to get this same uh, uh, value over and over again, which is approximately 3.14 on and on and on. So this is um, what we call pi. Now, this particular decimal does not repeat. In other words, it's not like a repeating uh, trend. It's not going like 3.14141414, you know, on and on and on. This is what we call a repeating decimal. The problem with pi, well, it's not a problem with it. Uh, it's, the, it it's a problem if you're trying to write out all the digits. This number does not repeat. The digits don't repeat, and then uh, it never stops. And so basically, if you want to know the end value, the last digit of pi, you have to go out to infinity, which is a very, very long time. So this huge, entire, infinitely long number, we're just going to say, you know, we're not going to write that. We're just going to assign it a symbol, this symbol right here, uh, which is pi. So, you know, kind of dis uh, to distinguish, <clears throat> excuse me, that... Um, variables you know can be symbols like n pi so when you're working with uh you know uh, science physics mathematics you're going to see all kinds of variables and symbols uh things like uh this symbol right here okay now this is a triangle but this also can mean a change right and there's uh oftentimes you'll see like delta like delta uh, t Okay, if you're not familiar with that, this means a change in temperature. So although this uh, symbol here does not represent a, um, a value, you know, it's telling you something mathematically going on. So T in this case would be the variable, and this delta right here is kind of a uh, way to uh, talk about the difference in temperature, right? So if your temperature went from uh, 100 degrees Celsius down to 75 degrees uh, Celsius, you could be talking about uh, the delta T, right? The difference in temperature, okay? So the delta part is a symbol, okay? It might be in physics, science, and mathematics, but the T here is the variable. So, you know, you do have to kind of distinguish a little bit um, you know, when you kind of get into more uh, advanced math, what is actually the variable and what isn't. Okay, so uh, let's kind of do some real basic work here, right? And some, uh, again, we're going to keep this at a, a uh, introductory level to algebra. So let's suppose I have x plus y, okay? So x plus y, and uh, what does this mean? Well, this is representing some value, okay? And this is representing another value. Now, what value can X and uh, Y, or what values or value does X and Y represent? Okay, well, as variables, they can represent any uh, value, right? Hence the word variable, the values can vary, all right? Now, let's suppose uh, we wanted to actually uh, replace these variables for specific values one of the most common things you do in algebra is something called evaluate, right? So here, we'll go ahead and write this down. Evaluate, evaluate. So let's evaluate this variable expression, okay, for the following values. Let's let x is equal to 3, and we'll let y is equal to 5. So uh, in algebra, okay, when you first start learning uh, about variables, uh, one of the first things you're going to do is evalu evaluate variable expressions, which uh, simply means you're going to replace those variables, those particular variables, for um, values assigned. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and let x is equal to three and y is equal to five. So we're going to simply plug in 
these respective values and then just do the problem. So X is what? That's three, right? And Y is five. And so when we figure this out, we're gonna have uh, three plus five, of course, is eight, okay? So this is what we call evaluating uh, in algebra and it, it is re uh, relating to um, replacing variables with some actually um, assigned numeric value and then just simplifying uh, the math there. Okay, so we're not going to go much beyond this because, you know, uh, you, you know, this is kind of a beginner's level, you know, uh, definition to variables and how they're used in algebra. And remember, here's the main kind of uh, point that I want you to take. If you're just new at math, new at algebra, just starting to learn this stuff over again, there is no such thing as a dumb question, right? So hopefully you have a math teacher. If you do not um, have a math teacher, I would love to be able to teach you math directly. So if you're just starting with uh, with basic math or you need help with pre-algebra or algebra, I'm going to leave uh, all my course links in the description of this video. Uh, but here's the deal, right? Everyone out there is absolutely smart enough uh, to learn algebra. It's just, you know, you just got to figure out where your starting point is and think of it as climbing uh, stairs, right? So if you're not at this level of math yet, no big deal. You just got to start right here and just take it one step at a time. Just build up your math uh, skills one step at a time. A lot of people get frustrated because they're like, hey, I don't have time to climb all these steps. I got to start here uh, so I can get to my final destination. Guess what? Unless you can leap really big, right? It's not going to work out. You're uh, likely going to fall down and, you know, that's frustrating. So if you're going to learn math, learn math the right way, get on to your kind of right level and start building up your math skills one by one. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.